Now that you've completed the SI8 simulation, it is time to visualize the output data. This video will describe how to use the line plotting module in Converge Studio. The next video will discuss 3D visualization with Ensight. Click on the line plotting button in the lower left corner of Converge Studio to open the line plotting module. Note that your actions in this module will not affect any output or .cvg files. First, select the case directory that contains your SI8 files. In the filter field, type asterisk.out. Now, the file list will show all of the .out files from your SI8 simulation. We will start by making a plot of the in-cylinder pressure. Click on the file drop-down menu and select thermo underscore region zero dot out. This file contains thermodynamic data for the cylinder region. Verify that in the X drop-down menu, crank angle degree is selected. In the Y parameters list, select pressure. Converge Studio will display the volume average pressure in the cylinder region as a function of crank angle. The graph that you see is just a preview. To make an actual plot that you can edit and save, click on the New Plot button. Verify that the plot name is highlighted in the list on the left side of the screen, and then click Open. You will see tabs below the plot that you can use to switch between the preview and any plots that you have opened. Click on the Edit button to open the Current Plot Style Editor dialog box. Here, you can change the labels, datasets, and appearance of the plot. Click on the Labels tab. In the Title field, enter a title for the plot, and in the X Title and Y Left Title fields, enter labels for the X axis and Y axis, respectively. Note the text formatting options available above the respective title fields. Click OK to close this dialog box. Now we will look at several more data sets that are generally of interest for engine simulations. For each data set, remember that first you will see a preview of the plot. You must click on the New Plot button to create a plot that you can edit and save. In addition to pressure data, the thermo underscore region zero dot out file also contains temperature data. In the Y parameter list, select mean temperature to create a plot showing how the cylinder temperature fluctuates throughout the simulation. Again, click on new plot to actually create the plot, and then click on edit and choose labels to give the plot a title. After you create each plot, you can rename it using the list on the left side of the screen. Rename the two existing plots. Now, switch the Y parameter to heat release rate. You can see that the heat release rate is zero for most of the simulation, but increases dramatically after the spark plug fires. Follow the previous procedure to create the plot and to give it a new name. Switch to integrated heat release rate to see the integral of heat release rate, create the plot, and rename it. Now, switch to the mixing underscore region zero dot out file. Hold the control key and in the Y parameters list, select phi underscore mean and RCT underscore phi underscore mean. This will show the equivalence and react ratios. Note that CO2 and H2O are considered fuel species in the equivalence ratio calculation 
but in the react ratio calculation, they are not. Create and rename the plot. Next, switch to the species underscore region zero dot out file. This file contains data on species mass as a function of crank angle. Hold the control key and select CO2 and CO. You can see how the masses of these two combustion products change throughout the simulation. Create and rename the plot. Next, switch to the cell underscore count dot out file, which contains data to plot the cell count throughout the simulation. This plot shows that the number of grid cells fluctuates throughout the simulation due to the changing volume. The grid is coarsest near exhaust valve closing in the point at which the spark plug fires, and the grid is the most refined during the intake and power strokes. Create and name the plot. You can use the metis underscore map dot out file to see how Converge distributes the computational cells among the processors throughout the simulation. At every value of n sick, the values in the cells column should be roughly equal for each processor. This bar graph was generated with Newplot and shows that the number of cells per processor is roughly equal. Converge distributes the computational load evenly in order to maximize speed up when using multiple processors. You can export plots as a PDF, SVG, PostScript, or image file. Click on File, Export Plot to open the Export File Name dialog box. In the Name field, enter a name of your choice and in the Save as Type field, select from PDF, SVG, PostScript, or Images. Then click Save to export the file. You can save the entire line plotting workspace as a .psp file by going to File, Save As. Enter a file name of your choice and click Save to save the workspace. The next video in this series will describe 3D post-processing using Insight.